one of the biggest questions that people always ask me, especially new real estate investors, they said, ask me, hey, how do I get into real estate and I don't have any money at all? Well, to start off with, I can tell you, you know, it's a good habit to make sure that, you know, when you get into the game of real estate, that you do have some money. <clears throat> the catch is it doesn't have to be your money. So one way that I got into real estate and how I got started was I sold items and things that I no longer needed. Like we can all admit that we are a very wasteful um, country. And as individuals, we waste a lot of things or have things that we have a value, but uh, no longer use or need. So I'm just gonna give you an example of my situation. So back then when I got started out in real estate, I had this motorcycle and uh, it was a, a Yamaha R6. It was a sports bike and I'll never forget I bought that uh, motorcycle off of Craigslist. I got it at a discounted price. And I remember I kept it for like six months and I barely rode it. And then I was able to turn around and sell that bike. And I sold that bike and made money out of profit. And that's the key. So if you have items you no longer need, like I said, that you could sell, that's a good way. You can save money. You can borrow from friends and family. These are ways you can go out there and get money to get into real estate. Now, another thing that I did, I'll give you one more way that I was able to get into real estate was I was able to partner with people. All right. Partnering with people is a really good way to get started in real estate. Now, I didn't have great credit and I didn't have a whole lot of money. But what I had, I made some time for myself to make this happen. Plus, I took the time out to learn real estate. And when you partner with people and do business, it's, it's you just can't take. In other words, you just can't ask for money. You have to give something in return. And that return is, again, like I did, and that you can do too, is that you can take the time out to learn it. You want to learn the game of real estate because you know, you're know you putting somebody else's money at risk. And the more that you get to know what you're getting into before you get started, the better. And the more comfortable you'll make your partner feel. So I was able to read books. I went to seminars. I went to the hotels anytime they were doing workshops and I get a lot of free gaming information. So that's how I was able to excel and learn the game of real estate. So you can do the same thing. When it all comes down to it, I'm going to tell you like this. If you want it bad enough, you'll make it happen. If your why is strong enough, all right, and mine was, then you can make this happen. I use this analogy all the time that you know, we as uh, people, we'll go out and go buy a brand new car, but you'll never ask what the down payment's going to be or what the monthly note's going to be or what the interest rate is going to be. You want it so bad, you will go out and go get it. And that's how you have to think about it when you want to become successful at real estate or anything else. It was so important for me to get out of the rat race. I was willing to do whatever I could legally and morally. So that's how you have to approach it. It doesn't matter you just got to go out there and get that money. You can make this happen and it's up to you. Nobody else is going to do it for you. If you like this, please subscribe, share this information, share the YouTube channel, and uh, let's make this grow. And I'll see you on the next YouTube video.